Well, it seems like today everyone's in a hurry, 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 and they've got to have things quick and easy and instantly. And so I always say, if that is how you are, gardening might not be for you. However, it might be exactly what you need because if there's one thing that gardening will teach you is patience and so especially when we're growing from seed and so a method that a lot of people like to use when growing from seed is to scarify their seeds first this process of scarification just means that it's going to soften the outside wall of a hard seed so I conducted a quick experiment for you using cilantro seed. Cilantro seed is something everyone likes to grow but it does take quite a while to get it growing. So we're going to take a look at um, three different ways of scarification. We're going to use sandpaper and I'm also going to split or crush the seed and we'll also use water. I will leave one untouched and just plant it dry. So I began my experiment on November 26th with some cilantro called Slow Bolt and this was some I purchased within the last year and so I want to go ahead and just moisten some seed starting mix so I want to go ahead and get some water warm and soak some seeds while I prepare my other cups so these four seeds will be my water experiment I'll let them soak for probably about 10 minutes and I'll set those aside so the first one we'll do will be sandpaper so I'm just going to take four seeds and I will just gently scrub these inside some sandpaper. I am not splitting or crushing the seed. I'm merely scratching the surface, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and now I'll go ahead and transfer these to my cup. I'm marking it sandpaper and I'll mist it with water and set it aside and we'll go ahead and get the next one ready. The next one I'll do will be I'll split or crush the seeds cilantro seeds crush very easily so I'm just going to gently split them with some pliers here and now I'll transfer these to my cup I'm making sure that I wipe my skewer in between cups we'll go ahead and spray it and give it a marker and now the next one that I'll do will be water and they're a little bit harder to work with when they're wet especially these really tiny seeds so let's go ahead and put these in our cup and we'll give them a marker as well a little water and then the final one will be the ones that I won't do anything to at all so I'll put these in my moistened soil and we'll give them a marker give them a little water and there we go so I put these on a warming mat because my soil was pretty cold and cilantro germinates really well at around 65 degrees every day I checked on them to see if there was any activity by December 3rd I started to notice that they were beginning to sprout so the one that I did not do anything to, I had one seed coming up. The sandpaper was really coming up. The crushed split seeds, nothing. And the water, I had just, I think I had just a little bit coming up here. No, nothing on the water, I <laughs> couldn't remember. Okay, so by December 4th, the untouched are coming up pretty well. The sandpaper's doing great. The crushed, I have no activity in yet. I did remove my warming mat, by the way. And now the water's coming up great. December 5th, I moved these outside so I could have better lighting for you. And starting with the water, they're looking pretty good. I'm starting to get a little bit of activity on the crushed split ones. The sandpaper's doing great as well as the untouched. By December 6th, they're still doing fine. The sandpaper, and then the crushed, I'm finally seeing many of these starting to come up now. And then the water. The water is really doing well now. And then the final day is December 7th. I'll take one last look at them. 
And while we're taking a last look at these, I'd like to also leave a link for you to another experiment that was done with bean seeds. And the results were very similar to what I've experienced here. And I'd like to remind you too that just because your seed germinates earlier does not mean it's going to be a healthier or more vigorous plant. Um, in the bean experiment that I will leave for you, you will notice that the ones that were untouched quickly caught up with the ones that were scarified with sandpaper. So I hope that you can start growing your cilantro here very soon. I love to grow cilantro. It's just a wonderful herb. And I did a complete video for you, which is very in-depth, on how you can begin growing uh, cilantro from seed and all the way into the kitchen. I'll show you different ways that you can use the roots and the seeds and the leaves. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by heading down there and giving me a big thumbs up. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. And you can also head on over to my channel where I have a playlist for different ways uh, that you can use cilantro in your kitchen. Also, I have many other ways to get um, seeds growing for various vegetables. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.